Rachel Dawes might have actually been Batman's most personal love interest in any of the movies, in my opinion, considering that she was the only one that he's ever had that knew him as a child. Their storyline across Batman Begins and The Dark Knight was done absolutely perfectly in my opinion but in the end tragically the joker would of course murder rachel by blowing her up in the dark night after forcing batman to choose between her and harvey dent of course with a little manipulation but in the end harvey did survive and he became two-face while rachel died right then and there and it was really tragic but what if she didn't? What if his longtime fan SR Striker requested to me, Rachel survived the Dark Knight, and it was actually Harvey Dent who died? Simply put, what if Harvey Dent died instead of Rachel in the Dark Knight? So somehow, Harvey Dent dies instead of Rachel. Maybe the bomb malfunctions or goes off too early, or maybe he just sets the bombs up wrong. I don't know, but somehow, due to a mistake, uh, Rachel survives instead of Harvey Dent. So, what happens now? Well, I mean, obviously Rachel would not become Two-Face. I know a lot of you might have been expecting me to do that, but first of all, I mean, she wouldn't have gotten half her face burnt off anyway because she wasn't jostling around in her seat like Harvey was. And second of all, she wouldn't be as easy to manipulate as Harvey was because Harvey clearly already had some underlying mental health problems, in my opinion, prior to him actually becoming Two-Face officially. But Rachel, on the other hand, was a of sound mind and body, so I don't know if the Joker would be able to turn her over like he did to Harvey Dent. On the other hand though, Joker I don't think would actually be trying to corrupt Rachel, because I think he always in the end wanted Harvey to survive and Rachel to die, so this does fuck up his plan a little bit, but not too much, because he would still want Rachel to die and I think he would just come up with another way to do it on the spot. So now instead of just threatening Coleman Reese's life in exchange for a hospital safety, he actually also threatens Rachel's life, because he knows with Harvey gone, Batman's the only person he could still manipulate because yeah i mean he could try and turn rachel into two-face but what would that accomplish i mean it's not like people are looking to rachel as this great hero of gotham city so he knows the plan will only work with harvey or batman and now with harvey gone batman's all he has left and he thinks by killing rachel that will be the thing to finally turn batman so now Joker says that if Coleman Reese and Rachel Dawes aren't dead within the next hour, then he'll blow up two hospitals, one for each person. So then Bruce would take an uninjured Rachel at his penthouse, where a lot of Gotham citizens assume uh, she is because of her relationship with Bruce. Although maybe not. I could also imagine them not knowing that. Because Bruce was pretty secretive, he was going out with a bunch of other women, so maybe this wouldn't have happened. But whether it happened or not, I don't actually think she would stay at the penthouse. I think Bruce would actually take her to the bat cave beneath the storage container, and then he would then rescue Coleman Reese still by pretending to have a car accident, just like he did in real life. So then I actually think Rachel would spend the rest of the movie in safety in the Batcave where the Joker can't get to her because, well, the Joker doesn't know who Batman is, and even if he did, he's not going to find the cave. Uh, and yeah, because he wanted to kill Coleman Reese because he didn't want to know who Batman is because that would ruin the fun for him. So yeah, there's no way for Joker to get to Rachel. She spends the rest of the movie in safety. So then Batman simply defeats the Joker normally and he has no ace in the hole because he doesn't have Rachel, he can't corrupt Batman, and he doesn't have Harvey Dent. So end of story, he simply just beats the Joker. So then at the end of the movie, when all the fighting is done, Rachel tells Bruce that she can't be with him. So she then turns to Alfred and says that the time is right for Bruce to finally read the letter. I'm going to marry Harvey Dent. I love him, and I want to spend the rest of my life with him. When I told you that if Gotham no longer needed Batman, we could be together, I meant it. But now I'm sure the day won't come when you no longer need Batman. I hope it does. And if it does, I will be there. But as your friend, I'm sorry to let you down. If you lose your faith in me, please keep your faith in people. 
Love now and always. Rachel. Rachel reminds him that the Bruce that she loved, he never did truly come home. That as much as she loves and cares for Bruce and always has, she just thinks that it's best that they stay friends. She says that she cannot be his reason to retire from being Batman. She says that whether they hate him or not, Gotham clearly needs Batman more than she needs Bruce Wayne. So then she reaffirms that she was going to marry Harvey Dent. And that while she cares about Bruce, she wanted him to know outright that she just doesn't think them being together is the right thing. Now, Bruce is saddened by this, of course, but he understands. He tells her that if he's going to stay on as Batman, then things are never going to stop being chaotic in Gotham. Joker was right about one thing when he said that there's no going back. Batman has changed things forever, for better or worse. There will always be more psychopaths to take the Joker's place. So he tells Rachel that, well, she needs to leave Gotham City for her own safety because, well, I mean, in his mind, the only way Rachel will ever be truly protected is if she either stays with him, where he can protect her as Batman, or she leaves Gotham entirely, where people won't be trying to get to her to get to him. So in his mind, that's really the only way Rachel will ever truly be safe is if she's not in Gotham anymore. And now, I don't actually think she would want to leave because I think she would want to stay in Gotham as a lawyer and continue fighting you know, the crime from the inside. But I ultimately do think that she would agree that maybe it's best that she leave the painful memories behind. Because, well, you know, besides fighting, you know, more criminals, what is there for her in Gotham? She lost Harvey. She's just friends on Bruce. You know, there's there's nothing for her in her mind. And yeah, I mean, she admits that it'd be safer for her outside of Gotham. So as much as she wants to stay, she agrees that it's best that she leaves. But she does tell Bruce that if ever there comes a day where he needs someone to talk to, that she'll always be there for him. Now Bruce smiles and he hands her the arrowhead, Finders Keepers. He then tells her that he wants her to have it, to remind her of the boy that he used to be. He then also hands her Harvey's coin and tells her that Harvey would have wanted her to have it for luck. She then sadly smiles and says that Harvey made his own luck. She then hugs Bruce and leaves Gotham City. And that is what I think would have happened if the Joker killed Harvey Dent instead of Rachel in The Dark Knight. Now, I know, I know, this is not nearly as involved as some of you guys thought it was going to be. I'm sure that a lot of you guys were expecting me to have like a whole new plan for the Joker involving Rachel. But realistically, I don't think the Joker would be able to touch Rachel, honestly. Because Batman would have prioritized her safety. He would have considered that that bomb to be way too close of a call for his liking. And honestly, I think that he would want to make sure that she's protected. So yeah, I don't even think he would leave her at the hospital. I think he would have just taken her back to the Batcave or, you know, his penthouse or wherever he thought that she would be safe. I, I don't think that realistically he would let her go out and about because like why would he again because rachel almost blew up so you know as far as rachel leaving i know it sounds like it's my way of not having to do the dark knight rises i promise it's not i just think realistically she would leave gotham after the dark knight i think that with harvey's death you know in her near de in her own near-death experience that she would you know be best leaving I mean, if you really want to know my honest opinion about her role in The Dark Knight Rises, I mean, maybe if since Bane knows that he's Bruce Wayne, maybe he would track down Rachel and kill her. But God, that's so bleak, you know, I, I didn't really want to end the video off on that. So I hope you guys understand. I just I think realistically she would leave at the end of The Dark Knight and I don't think she would come back in The Dark Knight Rises unless it was to just kill her off then. So, yeah, I'm sorry. I just I don't really think that she would be a big player in the dark knight rises i think bruce was always destined to end up with selena and i think rachel surviving would not change that i think because like in her letter it said that she was going to be with harvey she was going to friend zone bruce and i don't think harvey's death would change that like just because the man she loved died doesn't mean she's going to go with the second man she loves. Like, that's kind of fucked up. So I don't think that that would happen, personally. Uh, let me know if you guys disagree. I know I sound a little bit overly sentimental with this. Maybe a little bit too much for some people. Maybe some people...
people would rather I was a bit darker with it. But this is just what I think would have happened if she survived. But anyway, if you guys disagree, please let me know in the comments down below and give me more what if recommendations about uh, the Dark Knight movies or whatever else you can think of. Uh, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with all of your friends and all your various social media platforms, and I will see all you guys in the next video.